All right, Tony, you ready? So the first ready, thing Freddy. we do, ready, yeah. Freddy. First thing we do here, for at least, is I'll see this often. The new bases will go here, and then Tanya is going to walk up, and then we pick up really quick, and the flyer's feet will go straight up to the sky, and then you fall poof, right into each other, right? So I teach things backwards. Like instead of A, B, C, I go C, B, A. C stands for crash, and then B will break down in little bits, and A, you'll ask questions as we go, okay? So instead of mounting this way, the easier way I think to mount is have you walk even closer to me, feet wide, just like you're about to straddle. Go ahead and bring your hands down onto the mat like you're doing a down dog. This way you're already in the position folded, mm -hmm. and then it's easier for Tanya to know to keep her legs piked down this way. So when I kick up, when I kick up this way, her legs are already piked, and her the feet being piked, her legs being piked helps create what's called a shelf. It hooks your feet in because if her legs go up, mm -hmm. um, she'll fall down towards it. So she knows how to pike her legs like that, okay? Uh, so let's break that down again. Feet placement's really key, okay? So a common thing you'll see is people will put their feet like um, right here on, on the bone, hip bone here. Because mm -hmm. that's how we base bird and stuff. So normally people would do that. What that does though, it doesn't allow the fly to really hinge over because their hip bone is right on your mm -hmm. feet. You want to go right underneath that hip bone. You can feel it with your toe there. So go right underneath it. So that ball of your feet should be underneath there. So now her torso can actually hinge over. See how it folds over? Mm -hmm. She'll put her hands on the mat. You can support her shoulder here and take a deep breath. As you kick up this way, when you're first basing, likely you'll fall like right and left. Okay. This is my this left and right. If you fall back this way, big deal. She lands in her feet. Yeah. Um, if she starts coming over this way, it could be bad too. So Tanya, if you feel like whenever you're about to fall, just like when you're about to fall in side star, your your goal as the base, this is how you base spot it. If she starts to fall over, you want to lower your legs right away, but keep your arms up. So okay. this is helping her get more upright into her natural position as a as a biped, as a people biped. <laughs> as you want to, as much as possible, help your fly get back on her feet. So the moment she falls, you drop your feet and keep your hands up. And your job as a flyer is, if you're starting to fall, let's say you were in side star like you did one time, right? Mm -hmm. uh, over here. The moment you start to fall, mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're a new base that doesn't understand the concept of dropping the feet, you've got to bring your feet down and your hands down. Huh. So I think you were, you said you were the side star yeah. on, on, oh, sorry. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll slow it down. Let's come over here, find the leg here. I'm demonstrating the fall that maybe you had last time. If you're inside star here mm -hmm. and there's a fall, mm -hmm. you've got to know to bring your feet down and your hands down. And this right one away. down? Yeah, both. Because ah. whenever you're bound on a leg, it's dangerous mm -hmm. for yeah. you. So you have to be really mindful anytime you do a position where you're bound, you've yeah. got to let go of that body, yeah. okay? It's sometimes it's really difficult to judge exactly which direction I'm moving in when I'm up there. Upside down, totally. Yeah. Completely. So I'm not sure if I'm if we're sliding down or he's just readjusting his balance. Yeah. Okay. So um, I was a little rough with the hips. We'll be a little more gentle. Just, you've been doing really a lot of stuff. I'm really bruised there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll do a lot of sliding. Okay. Yeah. So one more time, Twan. She's going to walk up towards you. You're going to feel the hip bones are right there. Underneath the hip bones and out. Push it. She's going to come over. Place her hands on the mat. She's going to get into that shape. Fold it over. You take a deep breath in, you squat up. Don't put your hands, this is just the support. You're going to push up and try to lock your legs as far as you can here. Okay? You will fall. What if I know? You will fall left and right here. Yeah. Because that's going to happen at the new base. So if you do fall again, keep your hands on her shoulders here. Mm -hmm. um, push them up. Drop your feet down. And so she'll still fall towards you, but at least she'll be able to. She has more more of an upright position to be able to support herself. Right. Okay? Right. So drop your feet, hands up. Right. So more likely you'll fall back and forth this way. So let's just, uh, just practice that. Practice and then just get up and, up and, and then like... Yeah,